what is up you guys it's your girl passion welcome back to my channel this look what's stuck on my tripod the eyelash <sighs> i'm about to get dinner started we are having tacos again my sister's request so we had tacos last night i made tacos um and i used turkey grill oh y'all too they had to give me a new refrigerator y'all i got a new refrigerator let me show y'all and it's so bomb let me flip y'all then i'll tell y'all the backstory about how and why I got this refrigerator off. But this is what it looks like. And the freezer, blah, 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 blah. I love this little tray in the middle. I didn't have this before. Y'all see my old refrigerator. There's more space in here. It's clear. I can see through everything. So yeah, I'm loving it. Like I said, I'll tell y'all the backstory on that. But we're about to make some tacos. My sister is about to help me. Clean the cutting board off, rinse it off. Ooh. Yeah, baby, have pickles on I did. I literally just got back in the house, bro. So I'm gonna use ground turkey to make my tacos because y'all know I don't cook ground beef. So I'm gonna cut this eye on. You know where the onion at? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna freeze it right there. Get the onion. You wanna squeeze the meat out? Mmm. Don't mind my sister here, y'all. We just been in the house. <laughs> I'm dressed because I just came um, from the post office. So here, I'll get it. You um, squeeze the meat inside the pot. Remember I told you about the pan. Cut the onion? Mm, yeah. So, y'all, I'm teaching my sister how to chop stuff up. So, when we made the tacos yesterday, they were so fired. Everybody wants tacos today. Well, Javon didn't say he wanted tacos. You want tacos, Mom? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you want tacos too. Yeah. All right. Get that oh, and yeah. throw it in trash. the trash. Never take meat stuff Okay. Okay. Rinse your hands off. Yep. And, I mean, Oh, that this off. Oh. You can just dry your hands off on this towel. Okay. My phone is dying. All right, come on on this side. Okay. Pepper. Go to the next round. Okay. My sister has a food accent. Go ahead. Food accent. Okay. We have Mrs. Dash table blend, and I'm gonna do the pepper because I don't want her to put too much pepper in here. Remember, I told you, don't be afraid, girl. Don't be afraid. Go ahead. But don't, yeah, try not to shake it outside of the um, stove. Okay. And then we have onion powder, y'all. Oh, you do the onion powder, and I'm gonna put some more in. Okay. Parsley flakes. Sorry, y'all. Also, with this one, I don't want her to put it in there because it has a hole in it. It doesn't have that little shape to be on And then some black pepper. All right. Now get the um, wooden spoon and stir it up. Remember what I told you? Hold the handle. Don't touch the pot. What else? I feel like I put something else in it. I did it, I don't think. I think it's just the onion. All right, so those are our seasonings. After we mix it up, we're gonna add a little bit more seasoning, y'all. And don't mind this, I made some toast in the oven from my mom, and this, I forgot what I used that for. Oh, the taco shells yesterday, last night. It almost look like pink Rice Krispie Treats. Ew. Like <laughs> sticky. I'm teaching my sister how to cut these, chop stuff up, basically. Remember what I told you about them fingers? And this is our meat, our seasonings, 
cooking. Then after we put the onions in, we're going to place the, um, the top over it. Right, y'all? So now she's about to dump the onions in there. And I'm going to turn the fire up a little bit more. So I cut it down. Okay, put that in the sink. Handle. Mm -hmm. gonna put that on there, put that handle on the side, and we're gonna let this cook for a little bit. Y'all, my pot is not dirty, that's just the grease. Y'all know people who cook know what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna cut this fire down a little bit. Not that much, that's too much. Oh, too slippery. Watch your fingers. Put that back one back there. Cut it again? Mm hmm. I'll hold it. Okay. Oh my gosh, that person just killed me right when I came. I had the best. Um... Get out of here. I'm gonna just get it like this. Yeah, that's fine. We all gonna get it in our tummy. And move the ones out the, that you cut out to the side so you can see what you're working with. Okay. You're checking all your fingers, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm. This is our meat, so we're going to um, stir this up after she done cutting those tomatoes, y'all. All right, y'all. Now she's dumping it in the container. And we pretty much have leftovers, so it's lettuce inside this container with tomatoes. Uh, we already chopped all the other stuff up yesterday, but we used mostly all the tomatoes. Oh, these onions haven't done it down yet. All right, y'all, so I'm basically about to make these taco shells right here. So I got my grease in there. We got our meat right here. And then we also, I forgot to mention that we have a taco pack. I also use this on top of seasoning. Mm -hmm. So we're about to dump this in once the meat is fully browned. Um, I have an avocado. Oops. I have an avocado and I used the other half last night. Um, we got lime, we got tomatoes. My sister about to put some lettuce in there and we have sour cream. All right, y'all. So this is how I make my taco shells. Dab both sides in the oil. We like cheese or in our taco shells melted, and I also have um, shredded cheese as well. So, this is how I make my taco shells, y'all. And we cook old school over here too, so I use my little fork um, and close my taco shells up. Boom. That one I poked the hole in. Y'all wasn't supposed to see that, but <laughs> yeah. So this is how we make our taco shells. I gotta make a whole bunch. Javon does not like cheese in here, so I gotta make regular taco shells for him. So now we about to put the taco seasoning in there. All right, so here goes the taco seasoning. And then we're gonna fill this little packet up with some water and put that in there also. She's gonna pour some water in there. Go ahead, don't be afraid. All right, and then you're gonna mix it together. You're gonna throw that away and then mix it together. So this is what our meat is looking like right now. Now we are going to cover it again with the top. Go ahead, boo. Oops. All right, we're gonna let that sit and cook for a little bit. The heat is on. All right, y'all, so these are our lovely taco shells. These three shells right here doesn't have any cheese in them. These are Javon's taco shells, and I just made a whole bunch of them. My sister loves tacos. I love tacos. My mom might eat a taco. I'm not for sure, but we have melted cheese in them. So, yeah. So, I just made a whole bunch, and for some people who might not know, the reason why I have a paper towel here 
it's to soak up the grease you see all that grease that's on there so to soak up the grease and then also i, I use another one to cover them up as well i had these stacked up but whatever so i'm done making the taco shells and yeah so she just sliced my avocado for me guys and we're using a butter knife and then for the sake of this video i'm really not hungry right now because i ate um i made me a blt not too long ago but i'm gonna make um me a taco with all the ingredients so y'all can see how it came out because my sister only eats meat cheese and a little lettuce and sour cream that's it <laughs> so i use all this extra stuff my mom and them don't use that you got it for me yeah okay you can put it back in the bowl all right y'all so let me start off with my taco so that's my craft cheese in there and a piece of the taco shells on this side that's why you can't really see the cheese so put me some meat Y'all, I'm telling y'all, these freaking tacos was hitting. I don't know if it's because I didn't have um, tacos in a long time while they were so good or what. But they was bomb. For real, they really was bomb. So, I don't need a whole bunch of meat because I got other stuff I'm about to put in here. All right. So, boom. No particular order. Here goes some lettuce. I'm about to put some lettuce on here. Then I'm gonna scoop some of that lettuce to the side so I can get some tomatoes. Tomato, tomato. All right, you see how that's starting to form, y'all? I'm gonna put another tomato on there. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of cheese. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so. I'm gonna put an avocado slice in here. Right. And I'm going to put some sour cream in here. All right. And then I'm gonna squeeze some lime on that baby. <laughs> Y'all, there's Javon in the background. They over there doing something. Okay, so I got some taco sauce. Put a little bit of taco sauce, if I can open it. Put a little bit of taco sauce on there. some crystal hot sauce which I don't need but I like the way this tastes my mother-in-law put me on to this put some hot sauce on that thing baby have y'all seen Friday I know y'all have hot sauce on my burrito baby I know you taste so good to me okay voila our taco is finished now look at that that's why I didn't eat that much meat y'all that's my taco right there boom so I'm about to take a bite for y'all y'all already know I already know it's gonna get messy, so I'm gonna take a bite. Say my prayer. Mm -mm -mm. It's about to get messy, y'all. Look at that. Don't that look delicious? Mm. 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 Mm -mm -mm. Taco Bell ain't got nothing on me, y'all. You want the taco now? Yeah. Okay. Bomb. Fire. If y'all don't use crab cheese in your tacos, I'm telling you, it's so fire. You get y'all some crab cheese to put on your taco shell. Bomb. Mm -mm -mm. Comment below how many times I just said bomb, y'all. Mm-hmm. Y'all, that taco was bomb. Now I'm about to make Javon the taco. All right, y'all, so this is Javon tacos. He just like regular stuff, just like my sister. So now I'm making some popsicles. So this is the um, juice that I'm using. V8 pomegranate. This juice is fire. If y'all haven't tried it, try it. It's bomb. My mom turned me on to this juice. So I'm making these little popsicles. These ones that's already in here, my sister and Javon got water. They just wanted ice, regular ice, though. So I put some juice on it. All right, you guys. So 
that was us making tacos. I got sheets on the couch. I laid on the couch last night. My mom is in my room. She slept in my bed. Um, me and the kids are in here. My sister is getting another taco. I told her to make two tacos for herself the first time. She was like, but what if I don't want another taco? And I'm like, you're going to want a taco. And look, she back in the kitchen making her another taco. <laughs> Come on, high five. Yeah. Good job, sis. Mm -hmm. And she says she likes chopping stuff up. My mom don't let her chop it up, but I'll let her chop it up. Well, at least teaching her how to do it, you know? So, but yeah, so we just relaxing now. I got the balcony um door open, which y'all kind of can see. But I got the door open, so we got a little breeze rolling through here. Um, The kids are eating, and we just chilling, y'all. Um... But yeah, so I'll be back to talk to you guys in a minute. All right, y'all. So real quick, I'm about to explain to y'all why I got a new refrigerator, right? Okay, so boom. It was like 2 something in the morning. Um, I was asleep. I, I just got to sleep, really, um, at like 1 something, right? So I heard my mom calling me. And I heard her say, something, something, a refrigerator. Cause my refrigerator was acting weird. I don't know if it's been acting weird for the last few days, right? So I'm half asleep and I'm like, what? I, I don't know exactly what I heard, but I ran down, I hopped off my bed, ran down the hallway. Excuse me, y'all, my eyes were still closed. Came in the kitchen and I could smell something burning, right? So immediately I start getting an anxiety attack, y'all. My heart started beating fast and then I can hear like, it sounded like something was sparking or something, right? So, I'm like, oh, my God, this refrigerator is about to blow up. The kids is in here because Javon, he like to sleep in here when they come to visit us. So, my mom, the kids, me, we all in here. The kids was, we all, they was asleep. You know, my mom was up because she had slept um, earlier through the day and then she was watching TV. So, I'm just telling her, I'm like, mom, I can't unplug the refrigerator. I can't do it. I'm scared. Da, 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 da. And my heart was like, -da 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 -da. Um, and I have anxiety really really bad it was like i didn't know what was going on i'm just like really i was just out of it i was still sleeping i'm just like this can't be happening right now this and i remember literally saying holding on to the chair because my leg just felt so weak and i was like this is a dream like i can't believe this right now like what is going on what's going on and i swear it felt like my heart was just like boom 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 out of my chest so my mom ended up getting the um uh, some towels, some kitchen towels, and she was trying to unplug it. So when she was trying to unplug it, I went and stood, you know, on the side of her. And because um, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, oh, my goodness. Like, what if my mom get electrocuted? And if she do, how am I supposed to push her off? I opened the front door because I'm like, I wonder if somebody else's um, apartment is on fire. Maybe it's just transferred over to mine or something. So I'm opening up the, the front door, looking down the stairs. So, Y'all, I was just, I don't know what I... I was out of it. I was so freaking exhausted and tired. So when I finally went to sleep and I got, you know, woken up and I heard something, I just jumped off the bed and flew in here like, what? Da, da, da. I just didn't know what was going on. So she got it unplugged and I couldn't even sleep. I didn't sleep in my room. Well, first I told her to get the kids and we all sleep in my room together. And she was like, um, but then we won't know what's going on up here. So I was like, okay. So I got all my stuff and came in the living room and I slept in here with them. And I even, I still couldn't go back to sleep because I was just wondering and thinking like, what if y'all wasn't here? Or what if you wasn't here? I would have been sleeping in my room. Javon would have been sleeping in his. I wouldn't have been able to smell that smell because i couldn't smell it in my room of course whether i was asleep or not normally you'll start smelling something when it's burning i didn't smell it until i got up here you know so it was just a lot going through my mind so me and my mom was just laying down i was just talking to her and my i'm telling you guys with my anxiety it was just so bad even then like and it spilled over to the next day my stomach was messed up and my heart was beating fast um but by the grace of god we are all right and my mom is here for a reason, you know. Um, and, yeah, so the next day I called my leasing office and stuff. And they was telling me they didn't know for sure if they can get me a new refrigerator. They might have to repair it. And I'm just like, look, I don't trust this. Re I need a whole new, do not repair this thing. The cord was hot. My mom said that she heard it was like a boom sound. And then she, that's when she called me or whatever when I was asleep. 
So I just thought, I'm like, uh-uh, this ain't gonna work, boo. Y'all gonna have to give me something. I just went grocery shopping, stood up in these dang old lines up in these stores. Y'all know how hectic and crazy it is right now. All my food's gonna go bad. <sighs> it was just a lot, y'all. So um, later on in the day, they ended up buying a new refrigerator. So I was so happy, grateful, and thankful for that. Um, and the maintenance man, when he came, he said that they... It was, I mean, that he was just going to fix the old refrigerator, but um, the leasing office told him, no, just give a new one. And I'm so thankful that they did, you know, give me a new refrigerator because I wouldn't have trusted. I wouldn't have been able to sleep in my room. But yeah, y'all. So that's why I have a new refrigerator. We all are good. I praise God. You know, um, it's out of my control. I can't think about what if, you know what I'm saying? Because I would drive myself crazy keep thinking about that as far as if my mom wasn't here. You know, um, she was. And that's just what I have to look at, the positive thing. But whew, I'll probably do another video for you guys. Um, maybe when I'm actually really re ready to talk about, like, anxiety, you know, depression and stuff like that or whatever. I'm really, like you know go in depth when i'm ready maybe uh but yeah so that's what happened y'all but this refrigerator i'm so happy and thankful that i got a new one and i like it i like it better than the last one but that was like a scary situation because i didn't know what was going on and it sounded like the thing was going to blow up like seriously it sounded like it was going to blow up but yeah that is it for this video y'all please like comment and subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so you can be notified of all of your girls uploads and i will see you guys in another one all right y'all i to let you know you're